Hi everybody, this is Bob Itino from Path Trading Partners along with my co-founder Mike Arnold. And this is a weekend path chat update covering individual stocks for the week beginning July 3rd. Remember, shortened holiday week this week, Tuesday. Equity markets are closed. They will be open on Monday. They will be very illiquid most of the day Monday, especially late Monday as people continue their weekends. A lot of traders started their weekends early. Thursday or Friday and won't be trading at all on Monday. So if you see some drastic moves on Monday, don't put too much stock into them, especially uh, in some of the high flying stocks because the liquidity just won't be there. It'll be full on trading on Wednesday and we've got non-farm payrolls on Friday, which will drive the markets a little bit as well. So early on in the week, things won't be that important from a perspective of what the price is doing, but the price action will still matter. So having said all that, let me turn it over to Mike to let you know what he's seeing on the charts. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Bob. Weekly doubles that we've been following. FNSR moving back down, but still nothing to report back below where it could have been entered. So these weekly doubles, keep in mind, can take some very long time to play out occasionally for either hitting a profit target or a stop, especially in things like NRG. Triggered, moved down, moving back up, still below the entry price, but nothing else to report and nothing else to do. And this was a very large pattern on a weekly basis, so this could take a very long time to unfold. FCX still sitting right at this stop reduction zone and moving sideways. Nothing else to do there. FNB again rallied off the stop reduction zone, hit the prior breakdown level, and then came back still below the entry price. Nothing to do there. Qualcomm, this is a potential double that has not triggered. It was confirmed but not triggered and it is still a potential double it is not invalid now if it does get back below this 5404 level it's turned into a triple bottom and we will no longer follow it but we are not in it it's not triggered here was one we talked about on the money path podcast google or alphabet on a weekly this is a lower probability since it's against the rotation zone on the weekly, so it might catch support at the bottom of this rotation zone. This is also, you might, this might not be a shorting opportunity unless you're playing with options, but if you're looking to pick up Google lower, the stop reduction target is 878.72, the first profit target 860.46, the full profit target 842.21. So these might be good areas if you're looking to pick up alphabet long term and also as this unfolds we have the rising 50 week which will come in especially with about this 842 level at some point so that's going to be very key support and this is a prior breakout zone see easily we could see this return to the levels we saw at the end of april and it's only retraced that amount and completed the double so that's what we're going to be watching for if you were going to short this the stops now are above for a close beyond 960.87 or a trade through 969.99, that would invalidate the trade and stop it out. Let's take a look at some of the FANG stocks that we've also talked about on the Money Path podcast. Facebook still pulling back, holding at this 12.5% GAN retracement level. Not concerned about Facebook until it can get below this 25% level and the rising 21. So if we do get below this 144.50 level, that will be some concern and we could see then a return to about the 135, 136 level where we have the rising uh, 50 week exponential moving average and a 50% retracement of this last up move. Apple, Apple, Still on this very big move holding above the 25 and at the bottom of this weekly rotation zone. If we do get below the rotation zone and this about this 139.85 level to maybe what I'd even say about below 139 level. That's not looking so good for Apple and we could easily see a return to this 133 prior breakout zone. We have the 37 Afghan level right below it and we have a rising 50 week exponential moving average. So anybody looking for me, this is not a place to accumulate Apple just yet. I'll be watching for a move below this 139 area and then be looking if you 
to accumulate for longer term holdings back out down around this 133 area. But we'll have to see how it gets there also and if it sells off slowly or rapidly. Amazon, again, very strong, just dipping into the weekly rotation zone. This is just a normal pullback. We could easily see a further pullback to the 940 to about the 925 area without there being any concern. Longer term, if we do get below the rotation zone and then below this trend line at some point, we could eventually see a return to about the 850 level, but that's a very premature call. We have a lot of support coming in here. Uh, nothing to do with Amazon. Netflix. Netflix at the bottom of the rising rotation zone and prior breakout level. So this 147.60 area is very key. If you do see a close below that, we'll be watching for the 139.35 to 50 areas next level support. And if that is broken, you could possibly see something down to these prior highs in here and the rising 50 coming in about the 134 area. Would not be chasing Netflix right now, looking a little toppy and could see a bigger pullback for anybody who wants Netflix stock. NVIDIA is on a daily. We're now below the rotation zone on a daily, right at the key 37.5% GAN level. Let's switch it over to a weekly. Still though above the rising rotation zone, so we could easily see a further pullback. First area of support we'll be watching for is 140.75 area. If we do get below that, we could eventually see a drop to about this 127 to 130 area with this rising 21 coming in to provide some key support. And that is holding still above its prior breakout zone. Would not be chasing this stock right now, would let it pull back more and see if we can get some kind of reversal pattern at these key levels. Tesla. Tesla, we're watching this on a daily and a weekly. Just at first a daily, we have this rising trend line. If we get a close really below this 357 area, right in here, we could see a much bigger pullback, possibly down to 339 to 340 area. Let's put that in perspective on the weekly. The weekly, even first level support is about this 349 and see we can easily pull back to these larger levels and still be in a bullish pattern on the weekly. Fire Eye, we were watching for a, this was a confirmed double but did not trigger. We did not get our necessary close price action. Then it came up and you can see now it's a triple top. So there's nothing to do in Fire Eye from the perspective of a double top. Now this is forming a horizontal breakdown channel with the bottom being right around this rising 50 period, 50 day exponential. If we do get a key close down here, we could see a much bigger retracement of fire eye. So we'll keep an eye on that for another possible pattern. And Shake Shack, which we were looking for an early entry for this horizontal channel breakout has now pulled back more. The stop for this is all the way down here below this 30 level, nothing to do, but would not be accumulating it right now. Would watch if you are interested in Shake Shack for it to get more to the bottom of this prior support area, really around this 32.14 to about 33 level. If you're looking to possibly play this at a horizontal support and then a return up to its prior swing highs. That's all we have for you on this weekend stock update. Turning it back over to you, Bob. Thanks for that, Michael, and thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in a preview of this week's economic calendar and a quick review of last week, listen to about the first, I don't know, 10 to 12 minutes of the Futures Weekend Update Path Chat, which is on our YouTube channel right now. That's where we cover the review and preview. For those looking out for our FX update, as soon as we get our new platform all situated, we will start our FX updates again. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Also, check out the new Money Path podcast. You can find it at pathtradingpartners.com or type in the Money Path podcast into iTunes or Google Play. This is Bob Iacchino. Thanks for watching.